All right, y'all, we're here at barbecue or area on what we know about. Been here a couple times, just wanted to show you. A uh, good Korean place, there's a uh, barbecue place. There's two located here in Linwood area, one on 164th, and then one on, was it Highway 99? Pretty decent uh, for the amount you get and around the area, I think it's something good if you're just craving and you wanna get your Korean barbecue fix uh, and stuff. But yeah, I like the one on 164th a little more. The reason being is they have the bigger grill. The one on Highway 99, it's a small circle in one. So I enjoy this one a little more because it's a full-size grill. All right, so here's some banchan, spicy radish, kimchi, radish, bean sprout, tomatoes, macaroni, fish cakes, and some some, some dressings, sesame oil, garlic, that's enough for me. So we'll get a couple of jalapenos, not too many. And we got a couple. You can use these ones. I just put it on the plate. Or I, I do use it. But we will get some of this. The barbecue soy sauce is good too. Or the sesame oil is real good. But I just stick with that. And it comes with unlimited rice as well. So. They usually, the other location, I think they do have it here. They have soup, the broth, and like egg drop soup, it looks like. So we'll get some of that as well. So it looks like this is their different barbecues. We got the, there's different levels. We just got the K1, which is with the pork belly, brisket, and beef chicken. Usually that's what we get. Cooking the pork belly. You don't really need with pork belly, like, I don't like it bacon style a lot too, so I don't cook it that thoroughly. I mean, I cook it too, so it's not raw, but I don't like it crispy or anything. Yeah. And then, put that. Put a little garlic with it. Oh. It cooks really quick. Cheers. So pretty much that was area and Korean barbecue. Uh, I only we only got one that has like three or four meats. It was like the lowest level that was like twenty seven ninety nine before tax. Comes with all those sides. Comes with rice and all there. We did about three rounds. I didn't know really how to set up this video. Maybe I'll do like a Korean barbecue one on one. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but pretty much brisket cooks real quick. So definitely you want to cook eat that. Put that first. And then like the chicken takes a little longer and pork and you want to make that they're already cooked. But place is really good. Uh, they also have Korean side like uh, dishes if you want to do if you want to do all you can eat. They have like uh, noodles, soup. Um, but yeah, I think that overall for what you can get around here for all you can eat, definitely maybe be my top choice. There isn't as much in that, but I think they are expanding. There are Korean barbecue places where it was set menus instead of all you can eat, which you know that will be good as well but definitely i'll put the links below of this location which is in mill creek and then the other one is in highway 99 and i think highway 99 has like some fruits and stuff for like dessert i could be wrong but overall good place good place you know for all you can eat uh korean barbecue go come in hungry make sure you eat we did about three or four rounds so i feel like we made our money's worth but i hope you all enjoy take care and god bless y'all go friends let's go